Hello and welcome back to the uh, DJWW Auto Diagnostics YouTube channel. Today I am, uh, I've got a little project on today. Uh, I've got a uh, K plus uh, DCAN uh, USB cable that uh, we uh, have for sale in our shop. Now I've got a uh, particular uh, customer who uh, has a requirement or is trying to use this with a uh, Android app called uh, Beamer Geeks. Basically, I think it's a bit like uh, Kali. It uh, allows you to do diagnostics sort of on the run and uh, do bits and pieces of programming and coding and things like that. Anyway, having tried to use this particular uh, cable, he didn't have a great deal of success. He got an error message that flashed up basically saying that the cable wasn't compatible. Now, uh, doing some uh, research uh, into it, we I discovered that uh, the cable has uh, a uh, enhanced uh, piece of firmware on there, which basically uh, opens up the uh, bandwidth of the uh, cable. It uh, allows uh, so it allows more as more throughput. And so basically, and that is basically required for the Beamer Geeks app to work. So, did a bit of research, uh, had a look, and uh, there is an enhanced uh, piece of firmware out there for this. We're uh, basically going to try and install that today. I've got uh, what is called, basically called a uh, Arduino Uno. R3, if uh, that's the correct way to pronounce it. I grabbed this off uh, Amazon, and essentially, what we're going to try and do is use this to uh, connect to the uh, DCAN cable and hopefully uh, connect it to the uh, 80 mega 162 uh, chip inside. And hopefully, in the process of this video, we're going to be able to uh, update the uh, firmware. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, Let's see how we get on. Okay, so I've opened up the uh, DCAN cable. Now we've got, uh, I don't know if you can see that at the top here, we've got six uh, little, uh, basically pinhole connectors here that uh, we're uh, that we need to uh, we're going to need to connect to. Now I've got some uh, I've got some pin uh, pin adapters here, and I've sort of made them up in such a way as hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, plug these in and get a solid enough connection to uh, to this board to be able to carry out this piece of work so essentially what I'm going to do is try and yeah just like that plug these in let's see if I can uh, Where did that go? Let me see if I can uh, just get these stabbed in here for now and uh, I think boys and girls we may need a uh, There we go. It's a little bit. Uh, a little bit tricky to uh, get these in. But essentially, what we're looking to do. So we've got a uh, a PDF diagram that uh, details essentially how to how to do this piece of work. There we go, so we've got those in there. And I think ultimately for the purposes of this uh, exercise we're going to be looking as we're going to get, I've got some uh, Arduino uh, cables here and essentially what we're going to do is look into set up a connection between the uh, between the board here and the uh, Arduino controller here, which is going to be plugged uh, plugged into my laptop. So I'm going to uh, going to go about setting this up. Uh, 
now I'm getting this wired up as per the uh, PDF that we've got here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, flash the chip uh, on this uh, particular board. OK, so we've got uh, everything uh, pinned up and uh, connected now. So I've got all these, I've got these six connections on the uh, Arduino board. Five on one side and we've got the five volt power being picked up over here. And we've also got these uh, connected to uh, the uh, connected to the decan cable. Now they're, uh, those connections on the cable, they're not great, but uh, they uh, there's enough spring tension on there being created by the cables to make a good enough connection to do the piece of work that we need to do. And uh, for the benefit of uh, benefit of this, I've also uh, drawn uh, a bit of a diagram. Hopefully, this helps uh, explain what's going on with the pinouts and such that we're working with. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the laptop. We've got we've got this uh, plugged into the uh, laptop and. Uh, all connected up and such so let's move on to the laptop and see uh, see how we go from there okay so we've got everything connected to the uh, laptop we're now going to open a uh, program here called AVR Dudes I think that's how you pronounce that and in this program we're going to do some basic uh, configuration so we set the programmer to Atmel AVR ISP. We're using uh, COM1 and we're going to set the board rate to 19, 19200. We don't need to set uh, set anything on the uh, anything on the bit clock. The other things that uh, we need to set here are uh, we need to check the uh, fuse bits are set correctly so L should be 0xFD this H should be should be 0xD C and E should be set to 0xF9 and we also need the uh, set fuses option to be checked which it is and we leave uh, we leave LB LB blank okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, detect button just check all the cables are still connected which they are so we click on detect we can see it's detected it as a uh, 18 mega 162 chip which is 100% correct so let's move on to the next bit of the instructions let's set the cable fuses which we'll just check that they're right still so FD, DC and F9 so we're going to just click on uh, right again now and hopefully we'll see the uh, fuses uh, written correctly that's good so you can see if we go through the log here now we can see let's have a look you can see right in the fuse successful successful verified 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 all okay So the next step here is going to be to uh, is going to be to write the uh, write the uh, combined uh, hex flash file to the device which we've already got uh, we've already browsed for that here. We just need to ensure we've got write selected, and then we're going to click on uh, click on go. And it should be a very quick process this we can see uh, 
Okay, down here it's uh, it's that's it. It's done. It's we can see it's uh, flashed and it's verified that the flash is correct. So it looks like uh, it looks like we're good. With that, all that remains now is for me to uh, rebuild this cable and to uh, and to test uh, to test with the customer and see uh, what the uh, see what the outcome of this. I suspect the outcome of this will be uh, will be good. So yeah, let's uh, let's see uh, let's see how we go from there. Okay, so I think we're almost ready to uh, wrap this one up. Uh, We've uh, successfully uh, flashed the uh, K plus D can cable with the uh, enhanced uh, firmware. Hopefully, uh, with that, the uh, uh, the customer will uh, feed back to me uh, the outcome um, of that. Uh, in the meantime, if you would uh, like me to uh, to do this uh, piece of work to your uh, D can cable, then. Uh, and the service is going to be made available uh, in my uh, in my shop at my website uh, djwwautodiagnostics.co.uk for which a link will be uh, in the uh, in the description and so what I'll do I'll make a service uh, available I'll also uh, put a uh, listing up to sell the decan cable with the enhanced firmware which will work uh, with the uh, Beamer Geeks uh, Android app and uh, also probably many other apps as well which I'm not mentioning here so uh, yeah links in the description uh, comments below any uh, any questions uh, like share subscribe etc and I will uh, see you soon and see you in the next one bye for now